In this video, we're going to look at how to connect to an API using Bira token authentication within Airtable. Most API documentation will have an authentication section where they explain what type of authentication they use to verify API requests. For Stripe, we can see that they use basic auth, but you can also use Bira token auth. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the Bira token authentication. So to set this up in Airtable, we need to go to the apps dashboard click add an app and search for the data fetcher app. Data fetcher is a free app that lets you run API requests right within Airtable. Once you've installed the app, you need to sign up for a free account or sign into your existing data fetcher account. When you land on the home, home screen, click create request. And I'm going to call the request fetch Stripe customers. And then to set up the Bira token authentication, click authorization, select the Bira token, and then we need to input our token here. Now this will vary depending on what API you're using, but for Stripe we enter the API key as our Bira token. So that's set up and Data Fetcher will automatically set the correct headers and stuff in the background. We then need to enter the URL for the endpoint we want to use. So I'm going to use the get customers endpoint and then select the output table, the output view, and click run. And I'm going to click show response to show the actual response that comes back from the API. I'm going to filter all the fields and then I'm going to re add the ones that I want to import into Airtable. So for me, that's going to be the ID field and the email field. And I'm going to use the existing one for ID and use the existing field for email. But you can also select the option to create new fields and click confirm. Click save and close the app. And we can see that we connected to the Stripe API using Bearer Token authentication. 